Hey guys, Dar here. New director over here at TGN. Today, I'm going to do a video on add-ons and a UI. Um, they use several different add-ons, but uh, there's a lot of add-on videos out there, and a couple really good ones were done by uh, Rudicon and Tally. The ones I'm going to cover today are ones I have very, very rarely ever seen covered or never covered at all. Um, the main UI here that I, you see all over my screen, this is called Tuck UI. Um, pretty much all this. What Tuck UI is, um, it's basically like a bunch of different different add-ons all kind of rolled into one. Um, like the action bars here are basically their version of Bartender. You can't really move them around too much. You can make them smaller and larger, but you can't really do much more with them. Um, but it is a but it is the pretty standard setup that you know people use with Bartender. Um, this this add-on is really nice for those that you know just don't understand or can't understand how to set up Bartender, or don't want to spend you know all the time it takes to you know set up bartender and get it all right and tweak it out the way you want it this is kinda already pre-set up and tweaked out pretty nicely um, the map up here you'll see it's a square map uh, this is Tuck UI's version of sexy map um, you can actually type in TUK UI space unlock And it should okay. I didn't do that right. Let's try it again. Slash tuck UI. Oh, that's why I hit dot. Slash tuck UI space unlock. Okay, that's not working for some reason. Let's hit UI help. Here we go, and it'll bring up all the Tuck UI stuff. Okay, that's what it is. I was doing it wrong. I was thinking of Bartender. So, this one is slash move UI. And did I do it wrong again? Slash move UI. There we go. Okay, and then this, you, know, you can move your map wherever you like. You know, your debuffs, your buffs. Okay, I did that backwards. Um, this would be, you know, your stances, presence, auras. So, for so on this move ticket, that's, you know, basically like if you have a ticket, open the blizzard. Um, <coughs> this is your tool tips. This here's for your quest. Um, you know, you might want to move it up over here. Or because I don't like it at all, I completely I just kind of tuck it away. Okay, and this right here is your UI or is your uh, user, your unit frames. Daggone, I can't even talk today. Okay, and then to lock it all, basically you just type in move UI again. Boom, it's all locked. Okay, this like I said, this here is your unit, your bars. There's your sexy map. It also has its own version of like Bagnom, where it puts everything into one bag. Um, this here's your, you know, this is you of course. There's your target, your target of target. Puts all your buffs and debuffs right above it. Pretty easy to actually see. So overall, it's not a bad UI. Um, myself, I still prefer Bartender, and uh, but this is kind of puts everything together in a nice nice little package um, you can type tuck slash tuck UI and open the menu here and you can see, and if there's things about it you don't want or you do want it's just so easy to change it like uh, the bag nom or the they call it all in one bag I don't want it so I hit you know take out the enable take out the check next to enable hit apply settings I mean it's pretty easy They'll get much easier than that. Um, it's just a you know, on off. Let's hit this again. Bring it back up here. Um, another thing I like about this, it gives you 
Yeah, like I said, it's got its own loot thing. It's got, it's got its own things for a lot of it. Like, you know, for instance, the loot. I don't like their looting system. Or their, the, yeah, their looting add-on. It's kind of weird. So I just got rid of it and stick with, you know, uh, Blizzard UI default. There's nothing wrong with Blizzard's default. But, uh, I do like their, um, well, I use, uh, Cellomatic for, you know, on mine. But, this one has their version of Cellomatic or Cell Junk. Um, there's a lot of UIs that, or a lot of them that do the same, but all, you know, it has a little bit different names. Um, and this one here, you can actually, see a merchant, you can set it to where anytime you talk to somebody that can repair, it automatically repairs all your gear. Automatically. You ain't got to click shit just when you, you know, when you talk to them. It'll automatically sell all grays in your bag as soon as you talk to a vendor. Um, you can set this one to sell some defined crap, not grays, items automatically. So basically what that'll do is you're not, you're not actually defining them yourself. You're not putting it all in. It automatically defines it. So what it's defining is crap you can't use. Like um, you're a priest and you picked up, you know, a tanking helm. You can't wear a plate. You're not a tank. It's already soul bound. So the only thing you can do is either disenchant it, which you, which if you would either not use this part at all, or you would disenchant it before you talk to your vendors. Otherwise, you're going to sell it to a vendor anyway. So, this just makes it easier. Just you know, if you can't use it and it, it's garbage, then it's automatically going to sell. Um, now, that, of course, that's not the grays in it, but then you have this sell all your gray items. So overall, you know, a pretty good add-on, easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. Doesn't take a whole lot of uh, setup to it. You know, it's just pretty much just a plug-in, and it, it pretty much guides you through everything else. And if you ever had any trouble, all you'd have to type is slash help UI. No, oh, sorry, slash UI help. There we go. And then it tells you all the commands for everything. Pretty simple. Now, a couple other add-ons I use that I haven't seen anybody discuss, and I don't understand why, because they're friggin' awesome. Um, are some couple tanking add-ons here. The first one here is, which you see this bar over here to the left of my screen, it's called Quick Mark. Now you can, now alternatively, the best way to do it is to go in here to your user interface, go, that's not right, go in your key bindings, there we go, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you want to find Raid target, raid targeting. Okay, you can with this. See, you, can, you see, I've already got them set up here to assign triangle to F12, F11 for moon, F10 for square, and uh, cross, which is X, for F9. Now that's now that's one way to do it. Um, so I do it most of the time. Pretty quick, pretty easy. But what this over here does is it's really good when you're in a dungeon. You got a bunch of stuff to mark. Let's see, okay, I need um, let's see, I need that sheep. I need this one here or sheep. I need this one trapped. Um, I need this one over here. Let's sheep that one. Oh look, here's another mob over here. Let's get a rogue to sap it. You know, so pretty easy, pretty quick, and self-explanatory. Now, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and fight this guy. You see this right here? Let's go ahead and take a square off of him. You see that right there? That's the part of Tuck UI also. Um, what this, that's, you know, hey, you don't have your shit on, so make sure you hit your commanding shout. You know, it works for, you know, pallies, death knights, Everybody who's got buffs is what that does. You know, you intercom, but hey, you don't have your buffs up. Get your buffs up. It's a really nice reminder there. Um, but back to Quick Mark. I mean, this is just a really good quick add-on for people who don't want to mess with key bindings. And it's just a really nice overall add-on. Now, another add-on I'm going to show you 
is, well, here, I guess we'll stay in combat with this guy. Is this right here? This is called Taunt Master. This add on is phenomenal. I mean, I had, this is probably my favorite add on of all add ons I've ever used. And what you notice here is I'm in combat and I, it's red. What red means is means I have aggro. Now, when your party, like I said, is going to show up all the names, so if somebody else in the party has aggro, there it's going to pop up red on their name as well. So if you're fighting and somebody picks up aggro, easy, click. The way this sets up is right here, spell bindings, set up the left click button for taunt. So when I click taunt, um, I clicked, I, I set it up, it's, you know, like I said, this is similar like Healbot, um, because you can shift, shift left click for challenging shout, you can, I mean, you can put anything you want in there. Um, you know, for mine, for instance, you know, like I said, taunt, challenging shout, I got my right click over here for intervene. I use this on all my tanks, all my tanking tunes, period. You know, it's got all these other buttons here, if you have... You know, uh, but bleh. if you have like a uh, you know the Naga or you know you have other other things you want to use it for, but uh, it is a phenomenal phenomenal add-on. This thing, what I really like about it is it fits everybody. For instance, okay, um, you're over here fighting. You're a clicker. You really shouldn't be clicking. Let's start. Let's get that out of the way right now. You ought not to be clicking when you when you're doing these fights, but I understand there's a lot of people out there that's your gaming style, that's the way you like to do it, that's the way you want to do it, you can't get a hold of key bindings, you know, you just, whatever the case may be. So, in cases like that, what I would do is, you know, I'd have all my stuff right here, okay, well, I'm going to fight again, apparently, um, I would put all my stuff right here, and then, you know, right here's my taunt master, so, oh no, priest got aggro, click, okay, priest good, okay, and then, you know, mage got aggro, click, and then right back, you know, click, 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 go, oh, aggro, click, 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 aggro, I mean, this is a cakewalk, easy, 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 if you're, you know, keybind guy, then just leave your mouse right here, I mean, you ain't doing nothing else with it, I mean, just right here, you do, to do, to do, fighting, 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 oh, aggro, click, fighting, fighting, click, fighting, fighting, click, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, there's also an add-on called Tidy Plates that goes with Threat Plates, and then what that does is, when you highlight, here, let me turn them on there, you got your mobs up here, anything that's attacking, and I don't use it, so you're not actually going to see it, but I can tell you exactly what it does here, is these name plates will turn green whenever something's, whenever you have aggro on it. Now, if you don't have aggro on it, it turns red, so what you would do is you would click the nameplate and then either you know hit your taunt or you would come back down here and hit your taunt wherever you happen to have it on your action bar if you're a clicker oh god it's a nightmare I mean look at this you know I'm over here fighting you know I'm fighting this guy and then all you know guy over here I gotta click his click his name here and then I gotta hit the taunt button I mean that takes up a whole lot of time, and yeah, I, th I think my priest would probably be pretty damn close to dead by the time I got around to doing that shit. And then even if you know I'm a, I'm key binding over here, you know I'm using all my key binds, but as somebody pulls aggro, so now I gotta pan the camera around to make sure he's in my frame, and then I gotta hit this, and then I gotta hit my key bind. Again, it just takes way too much time. Whereas with this add-on here, you know, I'm sitting here fighting, you know, doing my thing. Here we go. Aggro. There we go. Aggro. I mean, that, that, that's it. And it works with all your tanks. You know, Death Knights, you can use it with the Death Grip. I mean, and Challenging Shout. It, it works with all of them. So if you're a tank, definitely pick up this add-on right here. It's called Taunt Master, very minimalistic, very easy to use, and very easy to set up. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up.